Ever pondered about what's truly inside the moon? Our celestial neighbor the moon has been a source of fascination and a subject of countless theories since time immemorial. Its desolate beauty and the mysteries it holds have intrigued scientists, astronomers, and dreamers alike. Common theories suggest it's made of rocks and dust, much like our own Earth. But have you ever thought that this might not be the complete picture? Now prepare to venture into the realm of the unusual, the fantastic, and the downright bizarre. Imagine, if you will, that the moon is not solid but hollow. And what if it's not just hollow but home to an entirely different species? Yes, we're talking about the reptilians, a theoretical species that some say inhabit the inner sanctums of the moon. Well, buckle up as we dive into this captivating theory that might turn your understanding of the moon upside down. So, who exactly are these reptilians, you ask? Well, let's dive in, shall we? Picture this, beings not of this world but from a place far beyond our wildest imaginations. They're not your typical little green men, no sir. These are reptilians, creatures with an uncanny resemblance to what we Earth folks call reptiles. Imagine the cunning of a crocodile, the stealth of a snake, and the might of a dinosaur, all rolled into one powerful entity. That's a reptilian for you. They're said to be incredibly advanced beings, possessing knowledge and technology that make our most sophisticated gadgets look like children's toys. Now this isn't some sci-fi movie plot we're discussing. There are folks out there who genuinely believe in the existence of these reptilians. They argue that these beings are not just capable of interstellar travel, but have been doing it for eons, long before humans even figured out how to make fire. So, what are these advanced beings doing on the moon, you wonder? Well, according to the believers, our moon is not just a celestial body orbiting our planet. Nope, it's a whole lot more. They claim it's a hollow structure, a sort of cosmic condominium, if you will, for these reptilians. Why the moon, though? Well, it's right next door, isn't it? Close enough to keep an eye on us, yet far enough to maintain their privacy. And with their advanced technology, they've supposedly turned this barren satellite into a thriving habitat. It's a fascinating concept, isn't it? A hollow moon filled with advanced reptilian beings, silently observing us from a distance. It's like a sci-fi novel come to life, full of possibilities and questions that boggle the mind. In the end, all we have are theories and speculations. But one thing's for sure. These theories make our universe a whole lot more interesting. After all, who wouldn't want to believe in a world beyond ours, filled with mysteries waiting to be uncovered? These reptilians with their advanced technology have supposedly made the moon their home. So, in the next part, we'll delve into the question, is the moon really a reptilian residence? Stay tuned. Now how could the moon our familiar celestial neighbor, house such beings, you wonder? Well, hold on to your space helmets, folks, because we're about to take a deep dive into the hollow moon theory. This theory, as wild as it might sound, proposes that the moon is not the natural celestial body we've come to know and love. Instead, some believe it to be an intricate structure, a purpose-built habitat, if you will, masterfully crafted by the reptilians themselves. Imagine this, a gargantuan, hollow orb, suspended in the silent void of space. Inside an entire civilization of intelligent reptilian beings, living and thriving, undisturbed by the harsh conditions of outer space. A microcosm of life, shielded from the cosmic elements by the moon's rocky exterior. But how could this be possible, you might ask? Well, according to the theory, the reptilians are a technologically advanced species, capable of constructing and maintaining an environment suitable for their survival within the confines of the moon. Think of it as a sort of extraterrestrial biodome, equipped with everything necessary to sustain life as they know it. Perhaps they've found a way to harness the moon's resources, turning the cold, barren lunar landscape into a fertile oasis. Maybe they've even developed a form of artificial gravity to counteract the moon's weaker pull. Now I know what you're thinking, this theory sounds straight out of a science fiction novel, and you're right, it does. But isn't that the beauty of it? The idea that our moon, that familiar silver globe we've gazed upon for centuries, could be something far more complex, far more extraordinary than we could ever imagine. If this theory holds true, then the moon is more than just a shiny object in our night sky. It's a thriving extraterrestrial metropolis a place where our reptilian neighbors live, work, and perhaps even dream under the same stars that we do. Now isn't that a thought to ponder? So why would these reptilians choose our moon as their dwelling, and what could they possibly want with us? Well, let's get speculative for a moment, shall we? 
Some say these reptilians are interested in us for our vast natural resources. Others believe that they are drawn to our unique emotional spectrum, something that these cold-blooded creatures might be lacking. There are even theories suggesting that these reptilians have been influencing our history from the shadows, pulling the strings of power like puppet masters. Imagine that world leaders shaking hands with scaly claws behind closed doors. Now, that's an image that will keep you up at night. But what about their intentions? Are they here to harm us, to control us, or perhaps to guide us? Some say they are here to prepare us for a much larger cosmic community, while others believe they are just waiting for the right moment to turn us into their next meal. Then there are those who believe that they are not here for any nefarious reasons at all. Maybe they're just intergalactic neighbors popping by for a visit, observing us like we observe animals in the wild. Regardless of their reasons, one thing is for sure. Their presence raises more questions than answers. Could we be mere pawns in a grand cosmic game played by these reptilian beings? Only they know for sure. So there you have it. A theory that takes Moonstruck to a whole new level. We've journeyed through the enigmatic theories of a hollow moon, a potential home to reptilians, and the wild speculation of them being a threat to humanity. But let's not forget. These are just theories, not etched in stone facts. Whether you choose to believe in the hollow moon and its supposed inhabitants, remember, the universe is full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled.